We are used to reporting on the Labour Party disciplining members on spurious grounds, but the politically motivated purge has now reached new levels of ridiculousness. That's because it's been revealed that the chair of Young Labour is being investigated for opposing transphobia. We'll show you some of the offending tweets that made Jess Barnard a target in a moment. First, here is her response to Labour's National Executive Committee, which was leaked today. I write to you urgently seeking clarification regarding an email I received this morning giving me notice that I am under investigation for challenging transphobia online. I dare say you will agree from the evidence and charges this is absolutely astounding that the party resources are being used on this. There is no discrimination evident in this document. Attacking trans people is not a protected characteristic. I haven't identified any individuals. Therefore, I cannot see why I've been put under investigation from either evidence given or alleged rules broken. I'm also deeply concerned that this email is being sent to me on your behalf at 1 a.m., having a huge detrimental impact on my mental health. As a young member already facing hostility from some members of staff, this is very much starting to feel like harassment and intimidation. I want to ask if this is being done in the name of the NEC, and if not, that this be overturned and there is an investigation as to why people who challenge discrimination against trans people or block abusive accounts are being put under investigation. So Jess Barnard was sent an email at 1 a.m., 1 in the morning, saying we're putting you under investigation because of your behavior online. Now, you might have seen these sort of disciplinary letters being shared on online before. What they do is they include items, which are basically screenshots of what you've said on social media. Now, Jess Barnard shared a couple of these, so a couple of the, the pieces of evidence which party bureaucrats presented to her to suggest that she should be disciplined. Um, a couple of them here. Competition time. Guess how many turf accounts I had to block today. Closest guest gets a, gets to pick a charity supporting trans people for me to donate some of my councillor allowance to. Voting closes in 24 hours. Um, now, TERF stands for Trans Exclusionary Radical Feminist. Um, so it's people who basically are opposed to self-identified trans people being considered to be women. Some people say TERF is a slur. It's actually, I think, quite a accurate and you know almost unnecessarily polite way um, of describing people who have some of the views which TERFs espouse online. Um, another tweet which was presented as evidence that Jess Barnard deserved to be investigated was the following. Expect better from a Labour representative. These accounts stalk, harass, incite hatred and abuse towards trans people. Why on earth a Labour councillor would defend them is completely beyond me. There's no fishing for anything. I just won't be intimidated into giving transphobes energy. Nothing offensive about either of those tweets. This is someone with a significant position within the Labour Party chair of Young Labour, democratically elected. You might know her name. We had her recently um, on the show. We do have an update, though. Whilst we've been on air, Labour have said they have rescinded the complaint against Jess Barnard. Heather Stewart from The Guardian. Labour say they have rescinded the complaint against Jess Barnard, which it says was issued in error. Party spokesperson, we apologise unreservedly to Jess for the hurt and upset this has caused. Wow, this is the second time this has happened in like two weeks where we've done a story which is about the Labour Party behaving in a completely unjustifiable, overbearing way. More recently, it also involved Jess, Jess Barnard. That was when they were saying they couldn't host um, Jeremy Corbyn or anyone who was involved in Palestine Solidarity Campaign. Then after there was a bit of a Twitter storm, they said, oh, no, 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 no sorry, sorry, uh, we, didn't, we didn't actually mean it. It's just complete chaos. It's complete chaos. Aaron, um, obviously it's good that this is being rescinded. That's news that broke as we went live. But the fact that that email got sent at 1 a.m. in the first place, I mean, what's, what's going on here? What's your analysis? Michael, this is, you know, Keir Starmer says, we will improve workers' rights. Keir, you've got agency workers pinging off emails at 1 o'clock in the morning. We will defend people's civil liberties. Well, actually, it turns out they're basically harassing uh, you know, young activists. Oh, it was an error, we're told now. It was an error. It was a mistake that somebody found the offending tweets, composed an email, and said that an investigation had been started. No, an, an error is when you send an email to the wrong person. An error is when you uh, mistake one offence for a separate offence. An error is not when you make up an entire case which is spurious and absurd and malicious, contact the person, and only when they've publicly stated this has happened 
actually turn around and say, no, we're not going to do this anymore. That's not an error. That's a U-turn because they screwed up really badly. Uh, and look, I, I think, I think if she hadn't done that, I think this would have been, this would have gone ahead. Clearly there's, there's, there's no quality control right now in terms of disciplinary proceedings. I mean, is that a surprise, Michael? Because what we've had for a year from Starmer and his cronies on the NEC is we will proceed 2000, you know, we're going to process 2000 anti-Semitic complaints. or we're going to expel X number of people. Well, if you behave like that, then you get stuff like this, right? That's you're literally incentivizing trying to throw out or, or or investigate as many people as possible. This is what's going to happen, and it's not just been Keir Starmer that talked about this. Michael Angela Rayner said the same thing. You can't work like that. You need to you need to have an investigations process which investigates people when they deserve to be investigated, not because there's some arbitrary target that people have got to meet. Deeply concerning, deeply concerning. And Michael, look, it's an error. Also, when you run the when you run the Home Office and somebody's deported, is that going to be an error? You know, it does it does make you wonder because you're not even doing these necessarily to pol political enemies. This is somebody who's in your own party. And actually, Jess Barnard, as I think anybody who's familiar with her, who saw her on the on the show, she's very considered, very thoughtful. Um, and, and, and she's been treated app appallingly, Michael, appallingly. This is where Keir Starmer's Labour Party is going to go. You know, this is where they're going to go. Deeply unprofessional, attacking the left, no real scruples, no real policy. We could have a conversation about, does that mean should you vote for them, et cetera? When you see the response from some people to her suspension, I got in an altercation with a guy who's a chair of a CLP up in Middlesbrough. My God, we're dealing with some really regressive reactionary people here, really deeply reactionary people uh, who were cheering this on. Uh, and now that apparently it was an error, presumably they're not going to be cheering it on anymore, but that, that's, that's what they think. Uh, they want to kick the entire left out of the Labour Party, Michael. This same person I'm talking about, he posted, oh, you know, copium. I don't need to cope. I, you and I were saying this is probably going to happen if Starmer wins 18 months ago, right? We certainly were saying it a year ago. Well, I was saying it a year ago. You, you priced it in. That's why I didn't vote for the guy, because it was highly likely that this was going to happen. So my, my coping was a while back. Don't worry about that. The point is, how low do you have to be as a political faction to actually persecute and attack and try and investigate somebody on the basis of opposing transphobia. And not even opposing no. it in a, you know, because I think it's justifiable to get angry and use harsh language if you're opposing bigotry. But from those tweets, that's not even what happened. It was, it was a, an elected representative within the Labour Party, a young activist who you know, gets all sorts of abuse online, who's very politely, I think, called out transphobia mm. and then yeah. was was put under investigation for it. What she did was a model way of, of engaging with the issue, you know, and I feel like if, if AOC gave some sort of media comms masterclass on an issue she and she was a Labour Party MP, the exact same thing would happen with her, right? Be because she's left wing. Before you go any further, Michael, I just want to say in, in recent days, I've been contacted by so many people who are being investigated for the most crazy things. So this is just one example which has come to light, but it was an error. There are dozens, if not hundreds of cases exa exactly like this, exactly like this, possibly even worse. I want to bring up a, a tweet from Jess Barnard. I have received an email rescinding notice of investigation against me. Thank you everyone for your solidarity and for my legal team for such swift action. We need a full investigation, urgent intervention against transphobia and an end to hostility towards young members. Again, a very considered reasonable response or a very considered reasonable person who is being intimidated at one in the morning by party staff. It's gross, um, but it has, uh, we've come to expect it now, haven't we, with the current Labour Party as it is currently constituted under the leadership of Keir Starmer and David Evans. Uh -huh.